Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some more Dragalia Lost. Today, we finally have the news, so by the time you see this video, we'll have her out. But we have info about what Galazena will be, as long as long, along with um, a Midgar Soma Zero, and I forgot the name of the fairy lady. But we're going to be going over them today, uh, see what they do, talk about them a little bit. Uh, remember, if you end up liking this video, you can leave a like, comment about how you feel about any of these units. This is the Galadragalia. Um, hopefully you didn't summon at all on that terrible, terrible bait banner, because God, did that suck? Um, unless you're a brand new player, I guess you could find some use for it, but damn! As someone who's been in the game for a bit, that banner had nothing for me. Uh, and had nothing featured that it, it had nothing featured. It was so incredibly bait it was actually kind of shameless but anyway i digress let's get into what uh what these are today also you can subscribe to me for more uh Trigalia stuff of course um i do a lot of other video stuff of course as well all right galazena uh another zethia from another world who is so this is spoilers another zethia from another world who is working with the prince and his allies to save it she is confused as to her place in this world and her relations with the, her new comrades, and wonders what it is she can really do. I came here from another world, so how shall I aid this one? We got Glorious Sanctuary, restores HP to all teammates, creates a healing zone, and for 60 seconds increases the entire team's strength by 15%. The strength increase will not stack. Uh, Holy Crown deals light damage to multiple targets and nearby enemies and increases the rate in which the user's force strike charges by 30% for 15 seconds. This speed increase will not stack. Recover potency 20%. Light above 10 hits equals critical rate 13%. Hollowed Auspex 2 grants the user the Auspex gauge. The Auspex gauge fills whenever the user's first or second skill all the skills are used. When the gauge is completely filled, it grants the user the Twilight Moon effect. When this effect is active, it grants the user a unique force strike with five increasingly powerful charge levels. The effect cannot stack and will be consumed on use. Sacred Shield 2 reduces susceptibility to poison and curses by 100%. Auspexus Parrier 2 When an ability increases the user's HP, their strength will increase based on the amount of HP gained. The bonus strength will be reduced if the user is below max HP, relative to the amount of HP lost, and will return if they are healed. This strength buff is not triggered by HP increases from co-op abilities and chain co-op abilities. Um, let me read that again. When an ability increases the user's HP, their strength will increase based on the amount of HP gained. The bonus strength will be reduced if the user is below max HP, relative to the amount of HP lost, and will return if they are healed. Okay, so that's what she does. What I'm trying to figure out is, does this mean when she heals, or are they talking about specifically effects like, um, there are some effects in the game that increase your maximum HP amount? Do they mean that kind of... Do they mean those kind? If you have a better understanding of this, you can tell me, because I'm actually kind of confused about if they mean regular healing or they mean the, um, it can't be regular healing because they're talking about the strength buff is not triggered by HP increases from co-op abilities and chain co-op abilities. So it has to be the other way. But she doesn't have an effect that's like that, does she? Not from what I can see. She only does, is, all she does is heal. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's look at the other thing. So, she's actually very... She's a healer that's also half damage dealer. Um, with the Holy Crown and with um, her Force Strike, which sounds like it will be similar to um, Incognito Neff, where Incognito Neff basically rains down a Meteor when you finally fully charge her Force Strike. Maybe she'll have something similar. Um, she's, she's pretty solid. Um... At least to me, she does. Um, we're going to have to wait and see how much damage she does, because that's always the kind of factor with one of these, is to see how well she does in the battlefield. Um, from what I understand is that a lot of healers actually got this effect added to their heal, where they buff the team for 15% for 60 seconds. Um, if that's not true, you can tell me. I haven't been, you know, I, there's been a lot of changes, and I haven't been keeping up to date with all of them. 
uh, especially for healers because they're not really the class I use the most. Um, she is still Galazena, so I want her. There's no denying the fact that she is still a, a Zethia, a Galazethia, so I want her. Um, and I'll gladly make use for her on our team. I don't really have many light healers. I have Hildegard, but I don't really have her mana spiraled. So, yeah, she's a healer and she also has classes. She's, a, yeah, she's a, a harm assist, similar to Heinwald. Except for Heinwald is, I think, more offense based, I think. Hmm. Yeah, interesting, interesting gal unit. I don't know how good she's going to end up being, but I want her because, I mean, look at that smile. Who wouldn't want that? Jerks. That's who. Speaking of jerks, oh, that's not fair. I mean, though I'm a fairy, I'll do this for her. for Ilya. Lilia. L is it Lilia? Okay, so I can't. I'm very confused about what the actual goddess's name is because I don't think I've ever actually. I play with sound off, so I've never heard anyone actually pronounce it. Is the name spelled with a tiny L L A L, or is it is it capital I L a, 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 like yeah, I'm v Ilya. I think Ilya is the right one. I just I just realized that the, I confused the exclamation point for a freaking L. So I'm gonna take an L on this one and just accept the fact that I've mispronounced this woman's name. Horrible. Uh, a princess of the fairy kingdom who left her homeland for her growth period to learn of the outside world, and ended up becoming a foster mother to Lilia, the mother. Lee, no, the motherly love she felt changed the once-sided mean for good. The once-timid mean for good. All right. Fairy magic deals wind damage to enemies directly ahead, reduces their strength by 20% for 15 seconds, and fires extra shots equal to the number of butterflies a user currently has summoned. This strength reduction effect will not stack. When the user has six or more summoned butterflies, those extra shots reduce the enemy defense by 10% for 15 seconds. The, this defense reduction effect will not stack. Oh, excuse me. Butterfly Kiss deals wind damage to the target and nearby enemies and additional damage to the location of the user's summoned butterflies. When the user has six or more summoned butterflies, this additional damage may inflict poison. Co-op ability skill haste 15%. Uh, wish combo uh, six. If a team member is attuned to win, extend the win between them hitting an enemy and a combo resetting by 2.5 seconds. Benefits the whole team. Radiant butterflies two. Standard attacks, four strikes, and dash attacks. <laughs> Instead, summon butterflies that pursue the target. Also grants all teammates life shield equal to 20% of the user's maximum HP to start a quest. Bog resistance 100%. Flurry devastation 13%. Do I need to say anything about her? She summons butterflies to attack. Next person. That's amazing. I love it. That's great. <laughs> we don't want that. That sounds great. Oh, she's combo focused, so she can be used with. There's certain uh, wind units that are definitely combo heavy, so I can see her helping them. But that doesn't matter. What does matter is. Uh, she summons butterflies to attack. Butterfly in the sky. I will rain my death from... Butterfly in the sky. What rhymes with sky? Butterfly in the sky, and now I'm gonna watch you all die. Bam! If I ever pull her, that will be the name of the video. Um, I promise you. Midgar Soma Zero. I shall tell you the Tempest Genesis. The windworm who lived a thousand years ago in the first war of the Binding. He searched for harmony between people and dragons, then bequeathed his spirit to the ne to the next generation at the end of his life. Uh, Primal Tempest deals wind damage to surrounding enemies and lowers their wind resistance by 10% for the remainder of the quest. This resistance reduction will not stack. The wind HP and strength 35%. If the user is attuned to wind, increase the strength and HP by 35%. Wind Flurry skill 70%. If the user is attuned to win, increases attack skill damage by 70% when the combo is 15 or higher. Um, and from what I've been seeing some people say, these two don't actually stack. So it wouldn't be like, oh, your skill damages are going to be um, 100. Would it be 105? Yeah, it'd be 105%. Uh, I'm bad at math. 
105 percent um that's not how the math works i guess people have done math and the basic math that i've seen is trying to figure out whether or not he's as good as a value um and it's actually kind of cuts it a little bit close it basically really comes down to how are you able to maintain the 15 combo count and if you can then he is better than value by a very small margin what they aren't taking into account in that math from what i saw is this ability right here this ability is really good just in general doing 10 percent wind resistance especially when um the agito for uh the agito buffs for win Celia. She has so much defense. She has so much defense, and we're about to get the Masters version of her. We, and Wynn doesn't really have a Gala Dragon to call their own. So, really, you're going to be relying on... I'll be very interested. I could see this guy being kind of used being used, just because she has so much defense. As, at least an expert. She has a lot of defense, and a lot of the fight is kind of making lowering her defense as quickly as possible to kind of stop her nonsense. Um, but I assume the master version of it will have much more defense and will be much harder to actually get her to lower her defense. But, you know, we'll see. Um, this is a dragon that will really kind of be in certain slots better than Vayu, and then in certain spots not as good as Vayu. Um, at least that's what I'm currently thinking. I do think that this skill right here, it, when you use it, is really good. Um, but you have to go dragon and actually use it, so... You have to, and, and chances are, if you do that, you're probably gonna. If you're not careful, you'll lose your combo time. And also, speaking of Celia, she's extremely hard to uh, sneeze. Sorry, sorry, sneeze. She's extremely hard to sneeze. What? Um, she does this thing where she goes invisible, so it's actually very hard to keep your counter up, uh, your combo counter up, if you're not careful, or you're running something that kind of helps you with combo uh, combo time. Uh, so those are the- I'm gonna sneeze again, excuse me as I pause the video. So yeah, those are the new units coming with Gala Banner. Um, I like them in concept. I don't know if they're so good that it kind of makes you go like, Oh man, drop everything that what I'm doing. But I do think that one, two out of three of them are very cute and the other one is cool. And that's good enough for me, to be honest. Um, and plus if you don't want to even summon on it, Hey, there are free summons. Just wait for Halloween. There'll be a Halloween banner, which is actually kind of a smart thing because Halloween banner is also limited. So before I sneeze, I think it's time for me to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Again, if you liked it, you can leave a like, comment about anything I talked about here. Uh, tell me how you feel about the units. Tell me how your day is going. Uh, you know, whatever, man. Let's talk. And again, you can subscribe to me if you want some more video stuff. I do focus on Dragalia a good amount. Uh, usually when Dragalia is, uh, I, it depends. It really kind of depends. It's been an uptick recently just because it's been a very exciting time for me. Um, but when I'm not doing that, I also play other stuff like um, Fake Grand Order, of course, the North American, occasionally the JP version. Uh, I played Mario Game Gallery. You'll, if you want to see the Mario games that people don't call classics being played, I play those. Um... Pokemon, all that stuff. Anyway, that's it. I digress. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Bye.